What is ritardando? Does it sound Latin to you? Does it sound Greek? Or does it sound Italian? A good little tip is that if a word ends in a vowel, there's a good chance it's an Italian word. Does ritardando end in a vowel? It does. And oh, it's an Italian word, and it means delaying. Ritardando means delaying. Ritard, R-I-T-A-R-D, means delay. But how can you delay music? How can you delay a piece of music? Of course, if you were writing a piece of music and you had to mail it off to a publisher, you could delay sending it away. But how can you delay playing music, apart from turning up late to the performance? Hmm? How could you delay a passage of music? And why would you want to? Well, remember, music is a story. You're trying to draw the listener in. And you can do that in a variety of ways. One of the obvious ways is to play things loud or to play things quietly. That can create interest. But how can it be interesting to delay a piece, to be delaying in the delivery of a passage of a song? Let's look at the piano. So imagine if we had a piece that sounded like this. Nothing wrong with that. But imagine if it was the end of the song. Would it sound better maybe if it was played like this? That might work quite well for an ending of a song. In fact, sometimes it can work well in the middle of a song or the middle of a piece because it creates interest. And we want to use all the tools we can to create interest. We could, of course, also have got quieter as we played the ending. That would have been decreasing in volume and using ritardando, delaying or slowing down. So there you go, a new word, ritardando. Keep working hard.